What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple options menu. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is basically create our widget where we can basically paste all our UI and buttons so we can actually like start changing uh, our options, of course. So, I'm just going to create a new folder to have more organized uh, called uh, options. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create an user interface, a widget blueprint. It's going to be user widget and I'm just going to call it WB underscore um, options menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we are going to do is search in the palette for the canvas panel. I'm going to go ahead and drag it uh, into the hierarchy. So we'll be able to now place things on a canvas. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is basically place some um, horizontal um, layouts. So everything will be good and organized, okay? But first of all, we're gonna place the headers. So we're gonna change uh, for now the resolutions, the uh, texture quality and shadow quality. And you know, for, for now these three, uh, these three things. So let's drag a text over here. It's gonna be like the header for, for example, resolutions, you know? So let me just drag it in. It's gonna be resolutions. Okay. Resolutions. There we go. And now uh, let's go ahead and kind of place it where we want. For example, I think like this is gonna be cool. And uh, also make sure that you always get the um, the anchors and place them in the corners. Because if not, if we change basically the screenshot resolution later, um, it will move around. And that's the thing that we don't want. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is add our horizontal box. So, drag it over here. And it's going to be from here to here. And basically, in here, we're going to have a list of buttons from, for example, 1080, 720, 2K, 4K, etc. You know what I mean. So... Uh, let's go ahead and place again the anchors. Very, very, very important. It's a thing that you always must do when you're creating UI. Okay, so now what we want to do is get a button and drag it inside of the uh, horizontal box and it will be nested. So this button is going to be called, um, for example, 720 button. And, and basically then what we're going to do is get a text and drag it inside the button here in the hierarchy. So in this text, we're going to put 720p, for example, right? Um, so now we can change a bit the scale of, um, you know, our text and stuff. So we can just make our text a bit bigger and get the laser spacing a bit bigger too. So we'll fill up a bit more of the area. So that's our 720p button. So I'm just gonna make it a bit organized. Okay, and now we can duplicate this button and then this is gonna be the um, 10, 1080p button. Okay, and I'm gonna change the text to be 1080, 80, and then we had another one, which is gonna be the 2k button. And this is gonna be 2K. It's a bit of a tedious process, but it's what we have to do right now. But anyway, uh, 4K uh, button. Okay, and then in here, 4K. So now that we have all the buttons, um, you know, placed over here, what we're going to do is place some spacing over here. So let me select our 1080p button, which is the second one, and we're gonna add some padding into the left. Now we need to see how much it is. So um, I recommend putting some big values and then narrow it, uh, you know, reduce it if it's needed. So I think 100 honestly works um, pretty good for us. So I'm just gonna place 100 in the padding on the left ones for now over here like this. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and uh, basically kind of center it. Well, actually, I think it was good there because then it's aligned into the title of resolutions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change the anchors, but there we go. Okay, of course they look very, very ugly, but you know, we just we are just implementing you know the functions and 
the ability to change the options not care about really the ui design but you know anyway so uh now let's go ahead and we can um put the horizontal box inside actually no we can't uh so what we can do is actually um get this both and then duplicate it so ctrl d and we'll just duplicate the um, resolutions title and the horizontal box because basically we will reuse reuse it uh into um the options um like textured settings and shadows etc so um i think i have to do it individually yeah so let me just get the title ctrl d put it down get the anchors over here and then this is gonna be options uh sorry texture textures and then we're gonna get the horizontal box duplicate it and then down here it's gonna be um our textures uh area so let me go ahead and place this over here and uh this over here i'm gonna go ahead and enter and instead of having uh, this it's gonna be um high button oh my god wait a second <laughs> high button this is gonna be i did again okay so high uh it's gonna be like presets you know what i mean uh, this is gonna be a uh, medium button you can of course uh you know put any names that you want in my case i'm just putting high medium and low but you know you can customize it as you want and you know place whatever information you want of course so low button and we can go ahead and delete the last one i don't need it and i think that we have everything done so I'm gonna rename this because yeah okay I don't know what is happening with this one. Uh, oh yeah because if you put the same name and just change the, the height the application stuff doesn't change okay so now we have our UI uh, enabled we will add shadows later on I just want to start with the functionality of the resolutions and textures so let's start with the textures because I believe they're they're more easy and straightforward to do um, so what we're going to do is go over here into the graph section. Now you will see that we have some settings over here as pre-construct, etc. Well, we don't need any of this, so uh, we're just going to delete pre-construct and event tick. I'm just going to leave uh, event construct if we need it uh, later on because it's kind of like the big play. But it, anyway, so you can see that we have a list of all our buttons over here. So let's start with our textures. So I'm going to start with the high uh, button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a on click event. So we're gonna go ahead and basically drag this and then set game settings. Set game user settings. And basically we'll get a return value. So now we can drag this and then set texture quality. And now you can see that we have a value here. And if we hover, you can see that zero is low, one is medium, two is high than epic cinematic so of course if you want to add more buttons for epic cinematic and stuff you can do so just in the ui section over there but i'm just gonna stick to three so in this case it was the high so uh it, well it will be basically um two uh now we do the same with um actually we need to apply settings too so just uh drag this in the term value and apply uh settings there we go just connect to this and we can dis uh, disconnect check for command line overrides. Okay, so now we can go into the medium button, add an unclicked event, basically copy this, paste it, plug it in, and then just change the value into be medium, which is one. And then we'll do the same with low on clicked event. And then we'll go ahead and copy this, paste it over here, drag it over here, plug it in, and then this is gonna be zero as that's basically low. So we can now compound safe and we're gonna drag all this and then press C and then put texture quality. So we can have it nice and organized because not we start adding a lot of options, uh, it will be just a chaos over here. So now we need to basically be able to access this panel over here. So we're gonna go ahead and open our uh, third person character blueprint or whatever blueprint you have, you know, first person or whatever. And we're gonna find a spot in the events graph and it's gonna go over here, for example, and say that if I uh, press, you know, uh, Q, for example, just to have 
any key you want. Of course, normally it's with escape or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it with Q. So when I press Q, what we'll do is have a, I'm gonna create a widget, a widget, and this widget is gonna be from the class of options menu that we have just created. The only in player is gonna be get player controller, as we're gonna be controlling it and owning it. And then I'm gonna return value and right click. I'm gonna promote variable to have it saved on. So it's gonna be um, options widget. And there we go, now saved. And we can drag this and we can add it into our viewport. So it will be in the screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get this here. There we go. And um, now we will basically create the panel. So now we can go ahead, con uh, compile and save and go ahead and press play. So if I press Q, you can see that the panel appears, but I cannot control it. This is because we have to change the input mode of our game. So let's go back quickly into our uh, third person character blueprint. And right after we add it into the viewport, we can um, basically change how our settings will work. So I'm gonna add a um, set um, input mode uh, to um, UI only, okay? And we can pass the play controller over here. And uh, yeah, we can leave it in do not lock or whatever. We can compile, save, and now we press play. We can press Q, and now uh, you can see that um, I can go ahead and hold my mouse over, but I'm not seeing my mouse. So we have to do one last thing, which is um, show uh, mouse cursor. I will disable content sensitive. So now it appears, so set. And now I will enable this, but I have to plug it in again into the player controller. And then I'm gonna right click and activate again context. Okay. So now, yes, we can press play, we can press Q, and we have options. And we can go into textures. And for example, I can change it into low. And uh, you will see that the actually the texture uh, resolution kind of changed. Now, it is not very noticeable, but it did change. Um, I, I do notice. A bit the change over here probably in the youtube quality you will not see it but uh right now um it is basically changed okay so now we'll be uh we'll need to basically change the resolution type also you can see that it changed the scalability setting in texture to be high which is where i left it as i don't have an epic uh, resolution so you can see that basically it's working okay let's go back into our third character and i'm just gonna do a flip flop um there we go which is one one time it's gonna be to create the the panel and then one time it's gonna be to uh you know uh disable the panel so i'm gonna get the uh option widget and right click validate it get and then a so if it's not valid we're gonna go ahead and create it um uh, and if it's yeah it's not valid we can create it and uh in b what we're going to do is basically uh, disable the panel. So options push widget, get it, remove from parent, which will basically remove the widget. So we go here, press Q, it will open up. We're going to change different uh, settings and then press Q again uh, and change back into the game mode. But we have to do one more thing. Um, so we actually will need to uh, set the input mode into uh, game and UI because I'm not you will not be able to detect again the um, the basically the the key to go back into uh, normal mode we will have to put a button which is kind of not what I want so like that I can change and then uh, with Q I can go back into my game as you can see now we do have to do one more change and it's basically get this copy paste it over here It'll be like this disable it the mouse button and then I'm gonna set the um, set input to be um, just uh, game mode only. And then we can get the play controller. Okay, so now everything is working. So let's get back into, sorry, I need to plug the play controller here. Um, so let's get back into now um, the resolutions, which is the next thing that I'm going to do in our UI. So let's plug this in, okay, compound, save. So let's go back to options menu. And I'm gonna go into the event graph. I'm gonna go into the 1080p button. And I'm gonna say on click. 
Okay, so again, we're gonna get the get game user settings. And what we're going to do is drag this and set resolution. Now you will see that we have a set screen resolution, which is what we're going to do. Now you will see that we have a um, an int point structure. Well, what we're going to do is make an int point structure, and this will give us our x and y. So because this is the 1080 button, this will be uh, 1920 by uh, 1080. Okay. So that's a 10 okay and um, we basically have to do um all that for for everything so uh now i believe this was an apply uh resolution settings instead of um, normal settings so let's plug that in and uh now it actually will change into 1080p uh, to be so we'll do the same with uh 720p copy the same paste over here but instead of uh 1920 uh it will basically be um 80 by 720 and then the same with uh 2k unclicked there we go uh get this copy and paste it rugged and over here and then uh 2k it will be yeah it was 25 40 60 sorry <laughs> by uh 1440 and then the last one which is god 4k and we'll just go ahead, copy this, paste it over here. And um, now we will need the official 4K resolution, which will be 4096 by 2160. There we go. So now we can go ahead, compound save. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these buttons that we added and say resolution, resolution settings. Things. So we have it again all organized. Okay, so now we can go ahead and compile and save. We go ahead and press play, skew, and we change into 720p, 1080p, 2K, 4K. Now you will see that we don't preview anything. This is because the uh, editor's viewport is locked into a certain resolution. So, um, in able to view it, what we have to do is launch in a different mode. Now, one thing first is that I'm gonna actually um, just add two things over here. So first of all, I'm gonna add a background blur because I do believe that it is very ugly. <laughs> so let me, I know that I mentioned before that, you know, um, I was not gonna go ahead and, you know, add uh, beautiful stuff, but I will make it a bit more beautiful. Um, blue strength 10, and then this will go on top of the canvas panel right before so we don't we are not interfering in the other things and then i'm gonna add an image into the background blue which is gonna be all black and uh, it's gonna be with the alpha of 0.3 all right so now we can compile and save so now if we press play and press q now it's a bit more beautiful as you can see okay so uh of course our texture does change uh in the game but our resolution not because we have to launch in a different game mode. So if we go up here into change play mode and play settings, you will see that we have a option to run a standalone game. Now, this might take some while, but we're gonna go ahead and click this. It will launch in a different format. It will launch like if it was, it's the closest approach as the final build of a game. Of course, there's many things that will be running off the editor, but it's the closest approximation. So there's things as, you know, these options that will only work in this standalone um, kind of version. Okay, so you can see that it launched. Don't ask me why it's all like stretchy. But if I press Q right now, uh, it's really big because I don't know why it's using like a quarter of my, string, of my screen. Uh, let me just, yeah, there we go. Uh, make it a bit more sensible, okay. So if we change resolution to 720p, um, you will see that it changes into 720p and it's very noticeable that right now is 720p if I change to 1080p Well, it will change to 1080p if we change to 2k it will change to 2k and it will change to 4k It will change into 4k And there we go um, That's basically our settings uh, menu done now. Let me go ahead and close 
this guy up so we're gonna be doing the last thing and is adding our uh shadows resolution like i mentioned before um so let me just get rid of that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get the horizontal box here duplicate it drag it below now the thing is that we can reuse this text because it's really like high medium and low which is what i want also for textures so we can you know advance a lot and we can just say that the ones that has a one after are for the textures okay we are not losing time over here uh, so let me just duplicate the uh, title and just put over here with its anchors very important and then this is going to be shadows there we go okay so now we can go back into the graph i can go down here and we'll go ahead and go into our um there we go our buttons with end uh, on one so high button add on clicked event and we can get uh, this and this so copy and go down and paste it from our uh, texture one okay so what we have to do is get the return value and then set um, shadow quality and it is exactly the same as with the other one with the value zero low and two high and something like that so high is two then medium one and clicked get this it's copy and paste it plug it in over here this will be with a value of uh, one and then finally the low button one we add one over here paste it over here Grab this there we go and then the values will be zero so we can now go ahead and compile and save and uh select over this c shadow quality and align it so now it will be really beautiful and we have it all organized as you can see so now i actually can just plainly select viewport and i have to do it in the other one and we'll just open q and then in resolutions uh you know won't change anything on here in the viewport but in textures we can change high low whatever it isn't very visible but anyway and then shadows we can uh deactivate them as you can see in low there's no shadows um or also i've noticed an issue as it doesn't open up again the panel because uh it's valid so a last thing over here it's just in the options menu when we close it it just set it to be nothing okay sorry i just missed that so now we can open and close it all the times we want and you can see also the the shadow is saved so it's pretty neat and we can go and put it in medium and then on high so yeah it's pretty much just um playing with the resolutions that you want and yeah so yeah that's it guys if you found the tutorial useful and helpful i really appreciate you click the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials as this one so if you want to go ahead and check them out uh well go ahead uh, leave a comment on other Unreal Engine 5 stars you want to see. And now, yes, with all that said, uh, well, bye bye.